Hello guys and welcome back to this new video on Axure RP9. So today, simple topic will be how to create custom dropdown. Are you interested to it? I think yes. So let's get started. And here we are inside Axure. So for the scope of this of this tutorial, I want to uh, show you first what will be the results of the of this. So uh, we go in preview. This is a simple uh, select box where we can choose between apple, pear, and bananas. And as you can see, uh, we have a mouse over style, a selected style. I will show you. And on click, basically, we uh, take back label and icon and we put it inside the select box. So let's go to do it. So let's let's create a new uh, file. Here we are. And so let's just drop a first uh, simple uh, rectangle and let's uh, just uh, take it like I don't know, adjust the sizes, so however, whatever you want of size. So like 40 pixels with radius of eight pixels. No, I will say 48, yeah, 48 pixels, okay. Let's uh, put inside a small uh, chevron. Okay, chevron, it's better to do like this, of course. So let's put it like, uh, I don't know, uh, 12 pixels and that's it let's zoom it a bit because otherwise it's complicated to move it okay let's zoom it out oh that's perfect so this is our shape this background I'm going to uh, call it like a big background select Okay, this is the chevron, chevron. Okay, let's remember to name always everything. It will simplify your flow. So once we have this, the main topic is to go on the default and to create basically the dropdown list. The dropdown list, I'm going to create a repeater. There are different methodology to do this uh, this list box, but I prefer to use repeaters because it's the most uh, simple way to do it. So let's go inside the repeater and let's change the, the style. So let's do it like this. Height of, uh, let's say 32, yeah, 40, yeah. 40 pixels height, let's, uh, uh, put a zero as border and uh, typography of Roboto. Wow, what a news! Uh, Roboto 14 pixels and and left line. First thing, second thing is the padding left. So, saying that we have to put basically the icon on the left, so we have to um, position it the start of the, of the label after. Some, some pixels, let's say 40 pixels, right? 40 pixels. Uh, second thing, we will uh, just place an image from the default here. Just drop an image and let's say we want this uh, icon, the place of the icon for by 20 by 20, right? That's, I think is pretty good. Okay, and let's call it like icon, right? And this will be basically the uh, label. Let's call it like this, okay? And the repeater is the content. So let's uh, call it like, uh, I don't know, uh, overlay. Okay, overlay. So the first columns, as you can see, here we have one, two, three, just to change the name of the, of the columns uh, as, for example, uh, label. Okay, and let's call basically uh, the apple, the pear, and the banana. Okay, now to change the icon, it's quite simple. So we add the new columns, we can call it like an icon, 
and with the right click we can say import image so for the scope of the tutorial i already downloaded the, the three icons that we need for this but usually i use this uh, this tool a uh, really cool tool that is icons 8 uh, it's basically a website and it did basically this uh, this client that is also for another one that is the noun project uh, whatever so as you can see you can, you search and you download you click with the right click and you can save it wherever you want okay that's dive into the tutorial so let's do a right click import image import image on my desktop i have my nice apple let's do it for the peer and let's do it for the banana for the banana okay so now we have the icons and we have to link basically this widget the uh, image widget with the icon itself how to do it simple on item load we here we have set text but we need a set image in this case so add action and will be set image here under uh, widget action set image of the icon equal to the value and we click always on fx and we click on insert variable or function there will be the list of the columns that we have and we have label and icon and let's use item.icon let's click ok and voila so so after that basically usually i like to have some drop shadow right uh it's always nice to have it and uh but unfortunately with the repeater we cannot do it so let's just uh, go on the canvas and right click again and create new dynamic panel the dynamic panel has the possibility to put either the corner radius and it's great and i want like eight of corner radius and visibility just on the bottom and the shadows the shadows like uh, 0 4 16 and 16 also here now the other thing that we have to do is the mouse over effect and the selected effect for this this labels right so let's go inside and let's select the label here on the shape properties uh, there are the style effects as you can see let's go to add one the mouse over style i want the fill color that is like i don't know f2 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 oh no f2 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 so it's a light gray and the selected style i want it e1 yeah e1 that's great and i want the bold why not i mean that's fine mm, let's see how it looks uh, let's put just something inside like title whatever and uh, with this selected we can go on the mouse over okay done and the selected style yeah it's fine okay i like it okay now we have everything we need more or less uh, for this drop down the first thing that we have to do of course is that we have to hide this here on the style and in the location and size there is this uh, small icon that is to hide basically the element right here we are and uh, let's rename this dynamic panel uh, as overlay again it's it's okay it's okay to rename it like this okay now what we have to do is on click on this element this overlay should show right so on click new interaction click and tap show hide the overlay let's click show let's let, let's do it like toggle yeah and animate like a slide down and slide up it does it automatically we have 350 millisecond and with an animation like ease out cubic i i like this okay let's go in preview what we have here so voila so here it's it's already quite good we have the mouse over and of course we have to put the the click right because now if i click there is no no changes there is nothing that happens 
we, we can click and we click on the on these elements because we we did the toggle what we need now is to basically to put the selection so on click set selected this element and after we have to um, put back the the icon and the content so the label inside the select box let's do that so first thing usually what i do is i group it i group these two elements into a folder and i call this content okay and on this content i say first things fire mouse style event okay on the group pro properties and second thing we have to add an interaction new interaction on click set selected content or this widget is the same let's say okay other thing that we have to do is to take these two elements let's group it again just for you know simplicity just just to be to be precise you know yeah so drop now uh, let's call it select okay and let's put another image inside here let's say always uh, 20 by 20 uh, oh we can do it even 24 like 24 by 24 yeah that's great let's position it position it here let's put it inside the select and name it like icon underscore select okay so what we have to do now is basically to uh, select um, so when the item so this content is selected we have to replicate the content inside the select box how to do it it's really simple let's go inside the repeater again on the overlay uh, let's click on the content and here on the click on top let's say set text of this the background of the select okay equal to text on widget which widget this one the uh, background so the label of the of the drop down okay so basically here what we are saying is uh, if I click on this elements copy this uh, label inside the select box let's see if it works so if I click I click Apple and as you can see here it appears the Apple now we have just to style it I will do it uh, right right now let's go back in action so here uh, let's style it like Roboto okay it's a 16 pixels uh, left and the, the uh, padding will be like 48 yeah let's see how it looks like yeah something like this that's perfect okay other thing that we have to do of course is to replicate the image right how to do that simple always uh, select the content and on click or, or top let's say set image of uh, the icon underscore select so on this icon equal to value item dot icon let's see how it looks like click apple peer banana it works pretty good actually so the other thing that we have to do of course is basically uh, as you can see here uh, on each click we have uh, the elements it is selected and uh, should not be like this of course so uh, if I select the apple, for example, a uh, peer should be unselected, etc. etc. This is quite simple to do it. First thing to do again is to uh, basically go on the content, and first thing is to show all here on the group properties and put a selection group. Selection group that let's call it like uh, I don't know, uh, label, whatever you want, okay and let's go back on the overlay and be sure that isolate selection group is unselected okay so this should be unselected let's go back in preview and let's see how it looks like now so apple peer 
as you can see, now it works exactly as it should. So I select the apple and here appear the apple. Okay, the other thing that we have to do is quite simple. So the thing is, first of all, we have to hide this and sh uh, this, um, this icon select and show it only the first time. So if I, uh, again, on the content, on click or tap, we say um, show hide and we are, we are going to select the icon underscore select this one so that the first time it will appear okay and what else we have to do ah, of course uh, on the content again we have to uh, on the show hide we have to add a target so that each time that I select the, um, uh, one of the elements inside the, the overlay, the drop, uh, the drop list disappear. Okay, add target, overlay, hide, and animate like a slide up, right? Always is out cubic with 350 millisecond or whatever you want. That's, that's quite simple, right? So let's see how it looks like. Here we have our select, we click on the select and we have the list. I click on apple, voila, appear the apple with our icon. That's amazing. And we can do it for each element. Nice, huh? So this is the first video about the drop-down list. Uh, in the next um, weeks, I'm going to create basically another video uh, on how to create multi-select and, and to create associated tags on each click of the, of the multi-select. You will see, you will love it. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from me uh, today. So uh, if you have other um, suggestion or uh, something else that you want to share with me, please uh, put a comment and don't forget to put a like, uh, put a comment and subscribe. Most important thing, subscribe to my channel. And bye, see you in the next video. Bye bye.